Hey guys, daddy tomato, mama tomato, and baby tomato. So, because I haven't done a review in a long time, daddy tomato, mama tomato, baby tomato are walking down the street. I've fallen pretty far behind. Baby tomato starts to fall behind. So what I'm gonna do is do some quick reviews on three current releases. And the daddy tomato gets really angry and, and he walks up to the baby tomato and he steps on him and he squishes him and says, catch up. <laughs> hey guys, Ronnie here. So this is kind of a catch up episode. I'm not gonna go back and talk about movies that have been gone for a while, but I am gonna do reviews on three current releases uh, that are out right now. Like I said, I, I need to catch up. So the first movie we're gonna talk about is Saw, 3D. Saw 3D, the seventh chapter in the Saw franchise, and really here pretty much getting what what you expect. If for anybody that's a Saw fan, you're not going to be disappointed, obviously. Uh, very creative uh, with the torture and, and the gore, which I think is what the Saw movies are good for. Not necessarily my bag of nuts. I'm not a huge fan of, of the torture sub sub genre. Because I guess torture films fall into a subcategory of gore, which falls into a, uh, the, the overall genre of horror. Horror. Ho horror. Hor hor horror. Horror? I can never say that. The torture sub-genre sub wasn't ever really my bag. But uh, for those of you who like this type of film, I think, you know, at, at the very least, Saw 3D was uh, adequate. It was easily, to me, as good as the first one. Now, I didn't see parts four, five, and six. Watching this one, I felt thrust into a bunch of stuff and story and exposition that I didn't know about. It, it kind of really just puts you right in the middle of the action. And I feel like I wouldn't have been as confused if I knew or if I had seen and been, been more familiar with the previous movies. Again, that's not to say that, that uh, you won't enjoy it. I mean, you're pretty much going to go see a Saw movie to see blood and gore and torture. And that's what you get. The 3D, um, not so much. Uh, I think it was completely pointless to do it in 3D. I, and I think it might have detracted from the overall look of the film. It, it, to me, it didn't really serve any purpose. And not that 3D necessarily has to have like a purpose, you know, like just to have the things coming out at you, uh, you know, in the screen necessarily. Um, but it was probably just to make uh, some extra money off, off this film. Uh, and I don't feel like it was really very quality uh, th 3D truck. So for me, it had that going against it. Um, there's also some weird ADR and, and, and vocal work, you know, when they record voiceovers and, and post-production. There were just some weird things that really didn't seem right. I mean, like it, it lined up with the lips, the lips, but uh, like the emotion and the inflection just didn't, the delivery just didn't seem to match what was going on you know, uh, on, on screen. So that was weird. Uh, I don't know if that was just due to the performances or if it was something with the ADR. Uh, that was that was definitely odd to me. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, not my bag. The gross out factor and, and, and the, uh, the, the torture is just, is just not me, as opposed to like something, you know, scary. But, you know, like I said, if you like the Saw franchise and you like these movies, um, I, you, I'm sure you'll like this one. It wasn't a bad movie at all. But you know what, for me, it's just a personal taste. So overall, the movie was pretty decent. In terms of the grading scale, I'll give Saw 3D three Matt Damons. Okay. So the next movie we're going to talk about is Due Date, starring Robert Downey Jr. and Zach Galifianakis. Galif, Zach Galifian something. Galif, uh, you guys know I can't pronounce anything. I went like I wanted to see this movie. It, it looked pretty funny, and and I actually had heard uh, a lot of good things, and I had heard from from my peers. You know, that it was pretty hilarious. And, you know, so I was expecting it to be funny. Uh, overall, it was just kind of, eh, for me. It had its moments, for sure, that were funny. But some of it, like, there are times when, when, when I feel like some of it was, was too ludicrous. And it was just like, it's really unbelievable how over the top the characters are. Uh, and how, how obnoxious some of these characters are. Just for the sake of, of comedy. You know, just, just to try to force the laugh 
or forced a comedy. So that was that. That's my major problem with it. Uh, if if it had gone more with, you know, sticking true to to the the character development and and the relationship between the two the two actors and the two characters uh, in this movie, I think I think uh, it should have fleshed that out more. It would have been a stronger movie. Like I said, there are some some funny parts, but again, it was just too just uh, a lot of it was just a little too ridiculous performances on on both the guys were great and, and you know the, there were times of, of real of heart and, and some moments of levity and 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 growth but there just wasn't enough it was just missing and and i think it was it was because it was trying to force the comedy the performances on both both robert downey jr and zach were great robert downey jr is an amazing actor anyway so you can always trust that, that he's going to bring something to the table. And Zach, he's always really funny. So, you know, it wasn't the fault of those two guys. I think the root of it is just the, the script wasn't as strong as it could have been. But, you know, overall it was okay. It was okay. I wanted to laugh more, but it wasn't side-splitting, you know. Maybe my expectations going in were a little, little higher than they should have been. So, I mean, it's a pretty average movie. There's nothing spectacular about it. And, and that's why I'm going to rate Due Date two and a half Matt Damons. Okay, last movie for this episode anyway. It's called Megamind. Megamind stars Brad Pitt and Will Ferrell, Tina Fey, uh, Jonah Hill. Okay, watching the previews for this movie, uh, I, I was expecting something goofy, lighthearted, and, and just overall silly, you know, a, a silly animated film, generally for kids. Now, as I was watching it, I felt, especially towards the beginning, that uh, the comedy felt forced and, and felt hammed up, but as the movie progressed, it really turned into something else. It really became something a lot more than what you were expecting from seeing the previews and that's why i was really surprised and I, and and i really really got into this movie the the themes that they were dealing with and and the character uh development was really really strong and and not that it wasn't funny i mean the movie had some very funny parts but it dealt with themes that that were relatively serious and and that's why i really like about it because i think for for adults it's something that they can they can really latch on to and and chew on but also for for children it's it's it, it's a lesson i mean heck it gives a lesson for everybody uh and so like i really like the message and i really like, like the theme of this movie by the end of it i had a huge smile on my face and, and because i was just really really happy to watch it and it just it was just really a solid movie yeah i mean it's difficult for me to articulate it um without giving away what happened or the story as, as you guys know who watch my videos i do my best to not give any spoilers away but uh but this movie was just great you know i mean i i highly recommend it now visually it was it was beautifully rendered the animation and the 3d were, were spot on you know a good superhero movie uh is always fun to watch now especially in 3d and if the animation is good it just makes it that much more fun in terms of soundtrack it was solid it had a lot of great tunes and a lot of great tracks on it and even the score was really very good as well so overall you know to me everything combined really really worked very well to make a solid solid film um, that i enjoyed thoroughly i enjoyed thoroughly like i said i walked out of the theater with a huge smile on my face and and that doesn't really happen very often <laughs> especially after the summer of movies that we had this year so yeah of the three movies we talked about today, uh, I, I recommend seeing Megamind first uh, if you haven't seen it yet. Um, I really liked it, you know. Uh, it was a solid, solid movie. In terms of grading scale, I will give Megamind four Matt Damons. All right, well, that is it for today, guys. I know I haven't done a rental of the week for, for a little while, and uh, it's not because I haven't seen any, any movies at home. I, I just don't have time to record and edit and talk about that since we're talking about three movies today. But uh, yeah, more to come. Um, like I said, we're gonna keep rolling with this and try to do it uh, once a week. This weekend release will be Skyline and that train movie with Denzel Washington. I really want to see Skyline. Um, that I have any really expectations of it, but it just looks cool when the people are, are getting all sucked up into the into the spaceship, and uh, you can hear the screams. It's, <laughs> it's yeah, good fun. So yeah, uh, hopefully uh, I'll have a review for that. Uh, you know, by the weekend. So stay tuned. You know, I'll be back 
we're back guys remember we're back but that's it guys thanks for tuning in if you haven't subscribed go ahead and feel free to do so wherever the button is give me a thumbs up if you like what we talked about if you've seen any of the movies that we talked about today feel free to leave your comments and and let me know what you think of them in the comments below oh if you have any movies that you'd like for me to review let me know leave it in the comments let me know why you want me to watch it or oh better yet Leave me a video response. Yeah, leave me a video response telling me what movie you want me to review that's uh, out on DVD that I can watch here in the comfort of my own home. And, uh, and I'll try to get to it. So yeah, I think that's it. So until next time, guys, everybody take care. This is Ronnie Cruz signing out. And remember, when you go to the movies, never miss the opening scene. And always remember to throw your trash away. Galifa what? Galifanacus? Galifanacus? Elephantacus? Expialidocious? Galifanacalidocious? I don't know.